Today we're going to do a controller transmitter test. We'll be using a wireless remote. Uh, normally you would do this test if you're using your remote and it's not turning the unit on um, anytime you press a button. Um, first, to test your controller, you'll need a cell phone, a smartphone. Uh, in this case, we're using a Samsung phone. With a Samsung phone, you can use the away from you camera or the facing towards you selfie camera. Uh, for the iPhone users out there, you will have to use the selfie camera in order to see the infrared signal. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put your screen facing away from you and point the remote at the screen where you can see it and you're going to start hitting the power button. We're looking for a purplish white light which you can see there it actually is transmitting signal which means the remote controller is working. So that's good. Next we're going to move to the indoor unit receiver board. Okay we made it to the indoor unit. I took off the bottom fascia panel where the power button sits is where your infrared receiver is on this particular unit. So we're going to set that to the side here. And you're going to do this with the power on because we're going to be measuring DC volts. It's a slight amount of voltage. Uh, do your best not to touch any metal pieces on the board. You might feel a slight tingle, but you're going to reach up in here and you're going to squeeze both sides and pull back and down. That's going to pop the board out of place. Okay, so you're going to turn it over and you're going to put your finger on the infrared eye and push here and it'll pop that board out of place. Just kind of work it and come all the way out. There we go. Set that to the side so I have free hands. So if you look at this board here, these three poles coming from the infrared eye into the board are where we're going to be measuring today. If you look closely at this board, it's labeled V out, VCC, and ground. And we're going to do V out to ground and VCC to ground. In this particular video, we're going to be using a filled piece meter here, and you're going to want to put your meter in DC volts. And to hold your leads, the easiest thing for me to do since they're so close together is hold them kind of like chopsticks. So we're going to go back up to the board here, and we're looking for V out to ground. Uh, in this reading, you're going to see somewhere around 5 volts DC. Uh, you may want to put your black lead on ground so you don't have a negative number on your meter, but we're going to test here. All right, if you look at the meter there, we have 4.91, which is good. That's around about 5 volts DC. All right, so we're going to go back up here to VCC to ground. And if you look back at the meter, we're getting 4.82. It's kind of fluctuating there. That's just me moving on the meter. But that's also correct. So this turns out to be okay. If you weren't getting the 5 volts DC there, uh, if it was way under 5 volts or 0 volts, or if it was way above 5 volts, like 12 or 15, uh, you would actually replace the receiver board. Um, in this case, it's okay, so we're going to go ahead and further troubleshoot the main PCB and fan motor. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.